Hello everyone, welcome back. Our short visit to dead Moscow, the phantom of the past, is over. Pavel and I helped each other out again and are returning down to the metro as real partners now. You can't survive the wastelands any other way. But now ahead of us lies a populated station, the theater. It's very close to Polis. If Pavel manages to lead me through the red line guard posts, I'll be home in less than an hour. Okay, come on in. Sorry about that. Dangerous times, right? We're going up soon. Are there many watchmen around? Oh, I'm gonna check on something real quick. I'm sorry. We were lucky to get here. Okay, there's a nest in the building by the wrecked plane. Oh, you want a nightmare? Oh, it's waiting for you up there. No sense going with just <laughs> men. I got that added chick on there too. Artyomich, so, if it's culture you want, the Bolshoi is up there above us. All the actors who survived are here. Well, people come from all over the metro to see the shows they put on. But why? Why do you... They keep raising the standards. Last time it was our neighbors. This time, it's us. It would be long before he has the station to himself. But what so, that's our plan. The station next to this one is Revolution Square. One of us. Red. And revolution is spitting distance to police. So, I, as a good communist, which I am, will vouch for you. They'll have to let you through, and you'll be home in no time. What do you think? Are you the one they just told us about? Yes, we are. Great. Come in, then. So, my Spartan friend, have a look around. There's plenty to see here. Huh? I'll talk to my people and find you. Powerful 
Is that you can basically convert it into a long shotgun with adult stock and other stuff. Great choice. Incendiary grenades guaranteed to keep your enemy warm. This is great stuff. The best in the world. I don't know. It's prohibited. Maybe I'll just get a drink instead. Well, Artyom, I made all the arrangements. We can go to the revolution now. They will let us in through the theater. Well, Stanislavski, you can watch the show if you like. I'll wait for you at the dressing room. Maestro, if you'd be so kind, the can can. Before. I feel sorry for the other performers now. Their attempts at impressing the audience might fall short after such a spectacle. But <laughs> I trust they will handle the race far of our expectations. And thus, our incredible show continues. This man spits in the eye of danger, challenges nature, defies the god of his new world, and proves once again that humanity is a master of all. A warm welcome for Leonid Burley, our animal trainer extraordinaire, with his, uh, terror of our city. Even our station has heard the rumors of new species that were encountered at exhibition. Fearsome beasts, black as midnight, invincible, able to induce madness in anyone who saw them. But even those were no match for human ingenuity. The guys at exhibition had noticed they were growing the wrong mushrooms. <laughs> 
and they went back to the traditional recipe. The new mutants were gone like morning dew. <laughs> Let us cheer for the heroes at exhibition! And tonight's show goes on. It is time to bring a lyrical mood to our show. We give you the genius of chamber music, the famous accordion player, Kolya Pajarny, with his masterpiece, My Heart Reaches for the Sky, but hits the ceiling and falls down the bar. A round of applause, please. I want to see this play. will never sound the same. Your music is such a stream with so much power. And thus, our incredible show continues. Today, I have the honor of presenting to you the hottest, the most explosive act this side of Atlantic Ocean, the most scorching spectacle of today, our fire show. A round of applause to welcome the performers. Please, please. Mind-blowing, incredible, simply incredible. If a tiny bit too hot, just a couple of degrees higher, and I'd be shot. <laughs> thank you, dear friends, thank you. But I must say that however hot that was, the girls were a bit hotter still. <laughs> Guys, you've got to answer the challenge. Try using the flamethrower, perhaps. And yet, we have more, dear audience. Please welcome the Arpeggio Virtuoso, the God of Legato, and Demon of Tremolo, the favorite student of Mel Bay and Vladimir Manilov, the premier guitarist of the New Age, Viktor Minchuk with his fantasies. Please welcome our Virtuoso. <laughs> Hey, bitch, you can see that. Well, 
find me more of this ecstasy and my heart would ignite, my legs would start dancing, and my soul would go straight to whatever it's heading to. Thank you, Victor. Ladies and gentlemen, I must announce a change in today's program. To our sincere regret, our visiting magician ran out of ladies for his sawmill act. <laughs> but never fear, we have filled the gap with greatness. Your complete attention, please, as I present the birth of a legend. The Minchuk and Parjarni duet with their instrumental impromptu, The Song of Songs. A round of applause to cheer our great musicians on. <laughs> of the Moscow Underground, the duo known as Minchuk and Pozharny. Our dear audience, this sad moment always come, no matter how often we wish you would not. But our show for today is over. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have enjoyed your company. Thank you, and please come again. Maestro, give us something emotional. Goodbye. Farewell. Parting is such sweet song. Artyom, no, enjoy the show. Sorry, man, time to move on, you patron of the art. I'm totally in love with you girls, but I've been busy with work. I'm, I'm very, very sorry. I'll come back soon. I promise. Jana, let me use your powder. 
your dreams. You have your own. Use that. It's no good. This is all bullshit. Real commies would not allow this. Just saying. No, he's reliable and doesn't waste his money. In that case, you Remember, in, in Stalin, Soviet Russia, there was a forced atheism. Type of safe forced atheism. Anyways, if you right were, because they believe be like living religion, maybe if you think free well, thing. To the fact we are still alive, huh? Tell me, okay? Free thought. But you know, what do I know about communism? Oh, I know. Don't trust it. Don't trust anyone. Opa, that's great. So, let's drink it, Tom. Don't drink it, Tom. It's a commie. Don't trust him. Smooth stuff, huh? And this is a good place. But I'm saying God. Home is the best, you know. You know, I've traveled all over the metro, and people talk all kinds of shit about the red line. That it's awful there. There's no food. That we shoot comrades for nothing, and you can't. Even oh my God! This is what he's doing. He's trying to. He's trying to be like, Hey, Artyom, come on, join us. Arrested. Wait, let's have another drink. Here goes, Artyom. Wow. So, <clears throat> yes, our life is a bit strict. One party, one leader, one ideology, but we have order. And everything is shared. Food, medicine, fuel, shelter. No rich men, true. But no beggars either. Another drink. And now, to equality. Come on, Artyom. No, 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 no. Pay that now. Ooh, хорошо прошла. Ah, where was I? Ah, yes. Yes, look look at the far stations. They freaking eat each other, sell their kids as slaves. It's like the Stone Age. Left to his own devices, a man becomes a beast, you know? Order, order is all that matters. That's that's our salvation. So you can believe whatever, but I am red. I am red until the day I die. I drink to order. Blin. Fuck your communism. I'm going home. Come on, Artyom, come on! Bottoms up! Artyom! Bottoms up! Not for accept anything from a commie. So, my friend, that's how it goes. Don't be mad, Artyom. Ah, Just fuck do my you job know to it! Protect the red line. And you, Musketeer, are from the wrong side of the barricade. I just wanna go home. Private, take this comrade in. I fucking knew it! Yes, Don't trust the commie! Yes, Never trust a goddamn commie! You son of a bitch! Welcome back, comrade major. It is private. Never trust. That was so stupid of me. I bought that talk of friendship. The stupid musketeer saying, "Just you wait, and we'll get even." I wonder though, why did Pavel go through the trouble of trapping me? He's a commie, man. Move it! Hey, stop that, Blair! It's just being over enthusiastic, you know? Artyom, look, I think of you as my friend, really. But as a soldier, you understand that I had to follow my orders and bring you here, okay? Now you're under arrest, but perhaps it's not the end of the line for you. I hope. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. At ease, товарищ. So, you're doing good here? Are you not? Yes, sir. Comrade Moskvin is here, inspecting the troops. The Secretary General here? What about Comrade Corbin? Yes, sir. Comrade General is here, too. Opa, it's my lucky day, huh? Okay, things are moving faster than we anticipated. Look, Artyom, you're a smart guy, so you understand there is no such thing as coincidence. You are... No, I'm gonna go first. Oh, okay. I don't know. Well, I gotta use the bathroom. And my stomach's been real upset today. I don't know how long I'm gonna be in there. No worry, I'll be back soon. I promise.